Hey guys, welcome back to another episode on my ranger. So I swung by the farms here and I noticed that these things are considering yellow, sometimes white. I'm on my way back to Kinos, but why not try to fight some of these? I've noticed he's got like a sword in his hand. I've never seen that before. Never seen these things carrying swords. But uh, let's uh, make sure nothing's behind me first. Oh, wait. Yeah, let's heal ourselves fully before I start this fight. It does consider white, after all. At least get 90%. One more heal? How about another? And another. Okay, let me turn the fan off. There we go. Let's go after that guy. He's moving around a lot. Try to avoid that lion. Alright, here we go. We're going to start off with a flame lick. Let's just heal ourselves again. Alright. Feel a little better. Oh, I can't kick him. No kick damage. I think you're looking good so far. Of course I can't kick. Let's check the tracking and see. Okay, there's a couple scarecrows here that consider white. Besides the one I'm fighting, there's two others. I can't stay and fight long because when you kill some, another's respawn in their place. And they're not necessarily going to be lower levels like these white ones. They might be yellow, so... I'm probably just going to fight one and leave. Let's see the sword he's got. Is that a rusty sword? What? I don't know. Hey, this is pretty easy. I mean, he's nearly dead. And I'm not far off from level 15. Once I get level 15, I get a new set of spells. Alright, that was easy. A rusty bastard sword. So you can turn these stacks of hay into Cleet Miller. Let's take a look at this and maybe I'll turn one in. Okay, so I think I just have to drop a stack of this hay to Hanina Miller. Let's see if we can find her. Oh, there she is. So if I couldn't see her, I could probably just track. Hey, look, there she is on the tracking radar. It would have been interesting if then instead of saying straight ahead, right, left, you just have to follow like beeps like I could just start doing that as you get closer. Alright, let's say a hell to her. Alright, I'm at 54% XP for the level. Open up, give her one bell. Hey, 56! Not bad. Okay, I'm not ready to fight another one. So you can find those stacks of he bells of hay. This guy periodically drops some. So you could follow him around. Or you can kill scarecrows and get more of them. Pretty cool, right? Sometimes you'll see like a bundle on the ground that's a stack of hay. So we are at 56, so you can get 2% experience at level 14 for turning in one of those hay, hay bells. And another thing I want to mention, you gain some faction for the Priests of Thunder. Thund Knights of Thunder and the Priests of Life. So those are good factions if you want to have like Kino's faction. Those are good ones to have. You can't necessarily get those from turning in null things, so this is one way to get it. You just run around gathering hay, killing scarecrows, and then turning those in. All right, I'm almost ready to fight this thing. Oh, I'm sad, it's 4 p.m. I have to work tomorrow. All right, I think we're ready. Oh no, I only have two points of mana. Let's 
let's, let's meditate for like five seconds. There we go. I think I'm ready now. Take a look around us and flame lick. Oh, really? Fizzle, fizzle, fizzle. And at least he didn't resist. Okay, so let's hit tracking and see. We got a couple scarecrows we can kill here. Yeah, these aren't too bad. Let's just keep looking out for more hay to turn in. But I'm, I'm going to head over to Kino, so maybe kill one or two more of these. Let's see how much experience I get. 56% right now. Check tracking. Nothing too scary as are in my area. No ghoul messenger. No werewolf. Alright, let's see what I get. 56 to what? Fifty-nine, three 3%. Dang, no hay. Okay. Well. So this is Junior, actually. Hell, Junior. I didn't know you can sell to this guy. Holy cow. Bamboo splint gloves. Hmm. It's not better than what I have. Interesting, you can, maybe we can buy some arrows from him. I don't see any arrows. Oh well. But you can unload your goods here. Let's sell a bronze two-handed sword, a couple small mammoth tusks, human blood, yuck, and spell thistle coat. No, don't sell that. All right, what else we got? Nothing there. Dude, we got a lot of sashes, actually. Let's just move on. I'm wasting time. All right, I have 17 sashes to turn in. You see them all. 59% of my experience this level. Let's just turn in four at a time. From 59 to 65. And let's just start selling these weapons too. So I'm at 59 platinum. Turn in this right here. Just get rid of this. Okay, start turning in four at a time again. How close will we get to leveling? Let's just get rid of all these stuff and put it in the small bag. There we go. Come on, let's get more XP. Okay, we need to start selling again. Well, I thought I was gonna get more experience. I mean, it's not a biggie deal, but... Alright, last four. Definitely not going to level up. So from 76 to 82. That's 6%, so we're not even getting 2% per sash. Kind of disappointing, but the gold, the platinum. We are from 59 platinum to 99 plus a lot more gold. So let's turn that into the bank. Lots of money. All right, so I'm like 87% through the level. And you know, I can just kill some straggler things around here. But you, know, you just click track and then you see, oh, there's a blue willow wisp. Where is he at? Heading to the right. I don't see him. Heading to the right. Am I still tracking them? Did someone kill it? Someone just killed it. Because it stopped tracking. Yep. That guy just killed it. 
and that's where he died. But otherwise, I'm saying the skill is so cool. Because you can track things around here. Like say I want to get um, some putrid skeletons to get the putrid bone to turn into Nicholas. You can just do tracking. I don't see any here, but you see some null watchers. You know, you can get down some some null things, but move a little bit further away from that location and you see tracking pop up again and just say, okay, oh look, there's a will-o'-wisp straight ahead. And if you're trying to find quest people to turn in rewards, just track them on the map. And I'm only level 14, so my tracking is still pretty limited. But what's telling me there's will-o'-wisp over here. Still don't see it. Oh, there he is. I probably wouldn't have found him without the tracking skill. So this is something that's going to be blue to me and going to give me some good experience and possibly a greater light stone that's worth about nine and a half platinum. So cool. So this weapon is about to start procking. I have to get level 15. That won't be very long. So I'm trying to raise up my piercing right now. Let's hit tracking again, see what else we have. Hmm, I don't see anything in here important. No putrid skeletons. I mean, there's gnolls, we can just kill some gnolls. But I don't think I'm gonna do that. All right, there we go. 89% and we get a regular light stone. That's the second one I've gotten. Where's my bag for light stones? I'll put them in the small box here. All right, time to do some more tracking here. Nothing in the moment. What can we kill? Oh, Will-O-Wisp. Straight ahead, I guess it's that little... Oh, there he is, right there. But I probably would have just turned around and ran back to Black Bro without the tracking skill. Kind of nudge me forward towards the Will-O-Wisp. Oh, there's a Dread Corpse on the radar, too. Those are blue. I can kill those for experience. All right, let's get a Flame Lick off on this guy. I need to start using my ranged attack, too. Someone says you can do snare and you can uh, snare and shoot arrows. I have about 150 platinum in the bank right now. That's a lot. Making a bunch of money. All right, I'm not digging this music at all. A little too brooding. Let's just turn on this one. So let's put on. Let's put this weapon on. I'm curious now, how much does our fire burn proc four let's try it out okay let's see what else we can track a dread corpse no i'm tracking baobab miller and shander miller ooh varsoon let's watch out make sure he's not behind us anywhere all right i don't like seeing him on the radar all right we're going west do i need to go west no it's towards town. Let's head back to Blackboro. Finish off the level. That's a player. Hmm, nothing on radar. There's a putrid skeleton. Let's do it to the right. Heading to the right. Let's 
straight ahead. Do you see him yet? There he is, right up there. You know what? He would come up and right attack that guy right there. Watch. <laughs> that guy doesn't even know I saved him from getting hit. Let's see what bad berry is for levels. He's a level 10 enchanter. He would have been okay, but that would have snuck up behind him. Nice. What's on radar? Nothing really. Let's give his pet skin like wood. Well, I'm going to find Nicholas now and turn in this putrid bone. Let's do that. Let's track him down. Where is this guy? Is he over here? Don't see him on radar. It's very likely that he's over here. See nothing on radar. Hmm. I feel like by the time you're level 25, you can see far enough that this is going to be a very, very useful skill. I see a will o' wisp. Let's do it. All right, the music ran out, apparently. There we go. So I'm going to see how much this torch procs for now. One hand blunts 51 skill. That's pretty good. It is not procking. What's going on? Mm. Another re regular one. Okay, let's see. Track. Well, there's a rabid grizzly. Heck yeah, let's do that one. Straight ahead. Rabid grizzly, straight ahead. He's over here. Is that him? That's a brown bear. Is that him? No. Wait, where the heck is he? Yeah, he's over there. I never would have found him without this tracking. So, let's see. He considers green to me. Yeah. Let's get him over here. What am I doing? I'm skin like wood. There's another Will-O-Wisp, too. It's like a dark green. This thing is not proc one time. What the heck? There it goes. 14 damage. Mm, it's okay. All right. What else can we fight? Will the West? Sure.
You're a sayer. Hmm, no. Oh, guys, I'm getting sleepy. So we got to find Nicholas on the radar. <laughs> oh, it looks like I saw a will-o'-wisp. Yep. They're really easy to find at night because they light up the entire ground around them. See over there? Look how much light. That's. I wonder if he's... See how much light he's projecting? I wonder if that means he's got a greater light stone on his loot. Because that's really bright. And greater light stones illuminate the ground around you. Same way. Oh, well, I guess I gotta target him first. So let's see. He's carrying a light stone. I know it. Probably a greater. If I'm judging about how much light he's projecting and there's a radius around him. Okay, so we're 94% through this level. Continue to track. There's another Will-O-Wisp too. We'll get them both. Oh, this song's boring. Mm. I just did that. Oh, putrid. Nice. Okay. No, it's just a burned out, so my, my experiment was fail. So all I gotta do now is find Nicholas and we'll level up. Where is that foo? Oh, wait, you don't always get a putrid skeleton bone. All right, let's track the willow He's behind me. Oh, there he is. What up, y'all? I keep getting these cop videos in my YouTube recommended. I don't know why I watch them too. I don't enjoy them, but I always watch them out of curiosity. Let's see if I can find some here. <laughs> really wish I can put some music on, some copyright music. I got it like, you know, doing the thing. Oh, there's Nicholas on the radar. It said he's behind me and to the right. Mm. Says he's to the right. He's straight ahead. Can you guys see him yet? No, I can't see him. I still can't see him. Where the heck is he? Heading to the left. Heading to the right. He's like right over here. Heading to the right. 
Holy crap, look how far he is. Man, I was tracking him from far away. Alright, so I need to find where the... There it is. Hopefully this levels us, but I don't think it will. So we're going to have to hail him to get him to stop. Hell, dude. Oh, yeah. I don't think I need this bag thing. What is it? It's a patch of evidence. I'm going to delete it. All right, guys, we leveled up. So now I get new spells. And my tracking is getting better. So let's put the new spells on first. Let's see what I have. There they are. Open the spell book. We have camouflage. I'm going to put camouflage here. Thistle coat. Oh, yes. Burst of fire. Cool, cool. Down there. And we got feet like cat. Interesting. So thistle coat's going to go right here next to skin like wood. I thought I'd get like a healing spell too. Do I get a better healing spell? I think I do, but I just don't have it. Okay, whatever. So now we're going to do this. I'm going to put on the new. I'm going to do skin like wood again over the one I already have. 571 hit points and 378 AC. It didn't change one bit. Let's give Thistle Coat. That's going to see if it changes my AC. 378 to what? 386. Nice. And then I get a, like a thorn effect on it. And then I get Burst of Fire. Let's see what Burst of Fire does. Probably very little. Boom. Does 16 damage. That's crap. It's just crap. All right. Start using tracking. Get that skill to go up. Forge. Sneak. Tracking. Oh yeah, let's put on the 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 weapon that can proc now. So this weapon here can start to proc. Now I'll put this weapon back in our bag. Which bag? This bag. All right, let's do it. Now, I'd like to do an experiment to see how far tracking can work, but I need to go back and see if there's any spells I can buy. So I'll see you guys in town. Okay, this looks like the limit of how far I can track. There's a guard standing by that door. He's right by that door of town. See how far away it is? Tracking. Guard Philbin, there he is. So... That distance in a 360 degree radius is my tracking range at level 15. Very useful. You can see a dread corpse. I can see lots. Axe Broadsmith. I have no idea that was probably over there. But that's um, that's really going to end it for this episode. I got level 15. I got some new spells, I get new skill in two levels, I get dual wield, I get parry, I think at level 18 or something, but yeah, it's getting really good, ranger is very enjoyable, sure does help to have good gear on like I have, but this tracking skill is just, wow, makes things so much better. So thanks for watching guys, see you soon, have a great week, great weekend, and I'll... Keep playing EverQuest.